7. So we see if y, this one following normal distribution, you see here when we have n, it is normal distribution of mean and 16. And here p, y is larger than 14.5 is equal to 0 0.7321. Find the value of mean. So here we know that for normal a distribution, this one is mean and this one is variance. So we know that variance is equal to 16 which means our standard deviation is set variance which is equal to 4. So you see here, so first we see at the probability. So we know for normal distribution, so the graph is something like this. So this one is 0. So we know that this one is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. So here you see this one is larger than 0 0.5. So larger than 0 0.5, that means this one occupied right and left. So right and left, and we see the symbol is larger. So if larger and can occupy right and left, it's supposed to be here. So if we just put the value of k, we know that k is supposed to be here because it is larger than 0 0.5. So it must occupy two places, so that means this one is negative. So, to find Z score, to find the probability from the table, it must be larger than 0. But we know if this one is negative K and K this way, it is symmetrical, right? So, we can find this one. Probability Z is larger than K, right? So, we know that the probability, if we just give this value is K, probability Z is larger than negative K. You see, larger, right? Because it is towards the right. Uh, larger than negative k is equal to 1 minus probability z is larger than k. See here? So, this one we can find from the table. And this one is given. This one is actually this one, right? So, this one, probability z is larger than k is equal to, so we can change place here, 1 minus probability z is larger than negative k which is equal to 1 minus z is larger than negative k is this one 0 0.7321 so here we are going to get 0 0.2679 so this one we can find from the table so 0 0.2679 this one is not a z score this one is a probability so 0 0.2679 so, 0 0.2679. So, you see here, it's going down and we can see the maximum value is 0 0.5 because this one, the z-score is at the positive side. So, 0 0.2679. So, here, 2679. 26. Okay, this one is 7.6, right? So, it's supposed to be here. Because this one is smaller, so this one is a bit larger. So, we can minus. This one is 4 decimal places. So here we have 0 0.2709 but the one that we wanted to find is 0 0.2679. So here we are going to get 0 0.0030. So we see here this one is 30, right? So we, we take a look at this side, the minus side, which is our 30. So this one, so straight line 30. So this here, at the last one, which is 29, so this is 9. So I just make a box here. So this one towards the left, you see this one is 0 0.6 area, 0 0.6. And then this one is 1. And then the back here just now is 9. So this one is 619. So 0 0.619. So this one is k is equal to 0 0.619. So we know this is k but then the actual value is here which is uh, k is equal to negative 0 0.619 because we know negative k Right? Because this one is 0 0.619, then this one is negative 0 0.619. So, 
So, here the Z score is 0, negative 0 0.619. So, we know that Z is equal to X minus mean divided by standard deviation. So, our Z that we just found just now is negative 0 0.619 is equal to. So, our X is this one which is 14.5 minus mean. So, mean is not given. So, just now standard deviation is equal to 4, right? So, mean is not given divided by standard deviation. Standard deviation just now is 4. So, this one we bring it to the left. So, this one is 14.5 minus mean. So, this one is negative 0 0.619 times 4. So, here we get 2.476. So, mean is equal to, so here we change place, right? So, this one is 14.5. So, when you get negative, it become positive 2.476. So, here you are going to get 16.976 Okay